Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my monthly PR haul where I show you all things new in beauty and everything that I received in PR the past month. We get to go over things that have released or will be releasing in these videos and it's just so much fun. We get to sit down and play with all new makeup. So it's one of my favorite videos to film and addressing the elephant in the room. If you have not noticed, you can actually see the end of my hair for once because I did get a cut yesterday and I'm loving the length. I love that I actually have a hairstyle as opposed to just long hair. Cause before I was just throwing it up in a bun like every single day and anytime I had it down, it would just honestly get in the way. Like it was so long and I was about ready to feel just lighter and brighter. I just feel so good with the new length and I can't wait to style it. But I had to mention that because it's my first video back and I know a lot of you are gonna be like, what? You look different. I can't put my finger on it. Or maybe some of you really noticed because for me, this, this is short. <laughs> this is short for me. So with all that being said, we're going to dive in to my first box of PR and it is from MAC Cosmetics. I'm very excited to receive this because I haven't received MAC in quite some time. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm still a MAC girl at heart. So in this box, MAC sent over their new Powder Kiss liquid lip colors and their Powder Kiss eyeshadows. I hadn't heard about these releasing, so it was new to me when it came to my door. I instantly opened everything up and started playing with them. Got a little cute pouch. I think I'm gonna be putting my face masks in here and just popping it in my purse. Here are all the lip colors and then the eyeshadows. We have 14 liquid lip colors here and I'm going to swatch these all for you, so don't worry. I have one of the colors on my lips right now and it is called Devoted to Chili. I have to say, this is such a unique formula. I also noticed from Rare Beauty, some of the influencers I saw using her lip creams, they kind of look like these, but a little more sheer. And these are like just this beautiful, slip, comfortable liquid lip color that is almost velvety smooth. It does have that kind of blotted lip look to it, which I feel like is where the Powder Kiss come from. If you like the Powder Kiss lipsticks, you're gonna love this formula. I love this formula. It's a very unique consistency. They have beautiful tones in this collection. Perfect for fall. Like this couldn't have come at a better time. And I used a traditional liquid lip yesterday and my lips are so chapped. I'm just gonna put on a little bit more. You can see before I had a more blotted lip look and now I have a lot more pigment to my lips. If I had a lip pencil, it definitely could be a more even application <laughs> because I just quickly swiped it on. The consistency is so unique and I just love how these feel on the lips. They're just the most comfortable lip color. It's just a really interesting formula, especially for the nude. Like I hope they come out with more light colors in this because I feel like a lot of liquid lip colors, they don't do too light of nudes, but this one in Date Maker, it makes your lips look so smooth and velvety and just, oh, I love this color. So if you were to pick up one and you're into nudes, Date Maker is the way to go. It has this whipped consistency and it's just the most nourishing, beautiful feeling liquid lip color ever. <laughs> like it's so good. So I highly recommend checking these out. This is one of the things I loved in the collection. As I said, I'm going to swatch all the shades that I have for you. And then the Powder Kiss eyeshadows. What can I say <laughs> about these? I had no expectation going into these and when I swatched them, I'm like, wow, you could almost put these matte shades on with your finger. That's how blendable and creamy they were. Except when I use it on my eyes today, I'm not a fan of these. There was only one color out of the six that I tried that I thought was all right. And it's the shade Work Work Work, which looks like this. I'm also going to swatch all these colors where you can see how they look on my skin. But in terms of the formula, I see where they were going with this and it is very soft matte eyeshadow. But that being said, I don't feel like it sticks to the skin very well, doesn't have enough pigment for me, and it's actually a formula that you just easily over blend it and it just kind of disappears. <laughs> so it's one of those things that, like I have six eyeshadows on my eyes, you could never tell, because none of the colors would really stick on my lid. And 
yeah, I just not a fan of the eye makeup today, the formulas. I really tried to play around with a bunch of the colors to see if I could get any of them to work for me and just work, work, work. <laughs> Surprisingly was the only one I kind of liked. But that being said, I feel like maybe beginners in makeup might enjoy these or something super subtle or just one eyeshadow shade if you liked all over the lid because when you start to blend these together, it just doesn't work honestly, because they just blend away into nothing. So a lot of them didn't even show up on my skin. It was really unfortunate. They swatched nicely, but they just didn't perform on the eyes. So this collection was like half total hit and half miss for me. So I just wanted to give my opinion on those. So if you're looking to pick them up, definitely check out the lip colors. And maybe if you like really blendable eyeshadows, you might <laughs> like those eyeshadows. But honestly, for me, like not showing up on my skin and just blending away is just a no for me. And then from Maybelline, we have a bunch of new goodies in here. Some things I have not tried yet, but I just wanted to highlight the things that I thought were really good. I got the Maybelline Glass Spray, which is really nice if you want a dewy, dewy finish to your skin. Like this truly leaves your makeup looking dewy. Probably one of the most dewy makeup setting sprays I've ever used. That being said, I also feel like because it's so dewy, it compromises the wear of my products. So this is something that I would wear for short makeup days when I wanna look really fresh and dewy, but nothing I would wear for an extended period of time just because it does compromise my makeup. They also sent the Falsies Lash Mask where you apply at night and it's supposed to nourish your lashes which I'm setting aside to try. We have the Brow Extensions, which is a fiber pomade crayon, which I have yet to try. The Lash Sensational Mascara. I know a lot of people like the original of this. My favorite thing in this package are the new Lifter Glosses. Again, I swatched all these on my IG, but I'm gonna swatch them here for you guys because they are so good. A bunch of the shades remind me of Fenty glosses, so if you like that formula, you're gonna love these. They also have a really large doe foot applicator, just like the Fenty. I personally am not a fan of the smell of these ones. However, 99% of people are probably gonna enjoy it. It's just, someone pointed out there's like a fake coconut smell in it, which kind of smells like self-tanner to me. So I don't prefer that kind of smell on my lips. It does go away, so that's why I'm okay with it. The price is right, the colors are beautiful. So I'd 100% repurchase these in the future and definitely wanna check out more colors because I don't have all of them here to share with you. But those were a hit. And then also I thought this was really nice. They have the Dream BB Fresh and the Pure. One is mattifying, one's hydrating, and I have the shade Medium Deep, which is good when I have a tan, which I currently do not. This is an eight-in-one skin perfecter. It's good for natural makeup days if you just want something quick to put on your skin. So the last thing I have here are the Maybelline Color Strike Cream to Powder Eye Shadow Pens, and they sent over a few shades. I don't typically use these eyeshadow pens. I know they're really convenient for some people. It's just not something that I personally reach for all the time. I usually just throw bronzer in my crease and call it a day. <laughs> so I'm very bare minimum usually when it comes to eyeshadow, but those are great if you want like a one and done color all over the lid and those shades appeal to you, maybe check them out. Then Charlotte Tilbury sent over her Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. And I have the mini size as well as the full size in here. So here is the packaging on that. And this is what the mascara looks like. Love the packaging of Charlotte Tilbury. This is no exception. I sat in on the Zoom meeting for this to learn about it. So I know how to properly apply it. And with that knowledge, I feel like it works really well. Having not known about how to use this properly, I don't think I would have liked this as much. So the brush is designed so that there's a reservoir of product and you can go and put that at the very bottom to give a tight line effect to your eyes first and then kind of flip it so that you have those bristles and you can comb that product up. And it really does a great job at pushing up the lashes and keeping them lifted just like it says. The only issue that I've had with this is transfer. Underneath my brow, when my lashes touch up, if it's a hot day, I've had issue with transfer. I normally don't with most formulas. This is quite a liquidy formula that kind of stays that way so that if you wanted to put on more at the end of the day, you'd still be able to keep building this even after you stopped in the morning and you wanna add more for night. It's buildable like that, but it also, 
I wish it would set a little bit better for me because I don't use mascaras like that. That is my overall opinion of the mascara. If you're looking for something to truly keep your lashes lifted and you want to skip on curling your lashes because you don't have to with this mascara, it really does lift them up, then I'd recommend this. It's great for every day for me as long as I'm not outside and sweating my butt off. <laughs> then we have a ton of new stuff from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I've already used some of this in a trying new makeup, so if you haven't seen that, I will link it in this video for you. Let's go over this somewhat quickly because <laughs> there is a lot of amazing stuff in here. I've just fallen in love with e.l.f. recently. I had purchased a fairly large order a month or two months ago, and I just love e.l.f. products. Affordable, great quality. If you have not tried e.l.f. yet, you're definitely missing out. They have some amazing products. Let's start off with my favorite. <laughs> I'm trying to go through what I wanna talk about, but these are definitely my favorite. I mentioned these in a favorites video, and these are the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos. They had the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette, which are awesome, and then these Face Duos are no exception. I especially like the blushes inside, and I'm wearing, I'm wearing these. I'm wearing a mixture of two of these blushes. I have Spiced Apple and Pomegranate on my cheeks today, and it's just such a pretty formula, has good pigmentation, they last a while, not patchy, blend out easily. I just really like these blushes and they're super affordable. They also come with a highlight, which is okay. Like, not my favorite highlight formula in the world, but not bad for three bucks for these. I'd 100% pick them up just for the blushes for me personally. Then we have the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist, up to 16 hour wear. I used this, it was good comparable to my Urban Decay, so if you're looking for something more affordable, maybe check this one out. They also have these facial oil mists, which I have yet to try. They have a bunch of different kinds. I think they have six of them. I'll have to check after, but I have three of them to share with you. So I have the Energizing, the Soothing, and the Restoring. It just says if you need a boost to miss onto the face throughout the day as needed, so I am excited to test these out. I don't even know which one I wanna try. Maybe the rose, because you guys know me in rose. Then we also have some lip balms here that I tried one of them and love. The Just Peachy Lip Balm. It has good pigmentation to it. it, has a really nice formula. I love the packaging of these. I love that it matches the color inside. So they also have Boss Berry, Tough Cookie, and Mighty Mint just like an everyday kind of balm that you can use. These I'd mostly just throw on quickly in the morning before I go about my day. I'm mostly just a balm person myself. So I'm gonna definitely get a ton of use out of those. And then they also have these sheer slick lipsticks and I have yet to try these, but I've heard good things. And then these really caught my eye and I was prepared to use one in a tutorial, but then I ended up using something else. So these are their liquid glitter eyeshadows. They are so pretty. I pulled out this one in pinky, what is it? Pinky Swear, oh that's so cute. Look at how baby and mini these look though. They're like so tiny and cute. <laughs> I'm just going to swatch this one for you. That is what Pinky Swear looks like. And definitely will have an impact on the lids. Like look at that when it catches the light. Gorgeous, and it's not fully opaque so you can definitely see some skin through, which I actually really like. Be a really nice everyday, kind of give you that wet look to the eyelid. And then the last thing I have here are the Super Brighten Peel Pads with Brightening Alpha Hydroxy Acids. I have yet to try these. I have super sensitive skin, so I'm not sure. I might just pass these on. Honestly, I can't use much on my skin. <laughs> but I do have some skincare in this haul that I have been using and loving and been working for me. I'm just very weary about peels and stuff because I've had bad experiences. My skin hates most things. <laughs> A new skincare company reached out to see if I wanna try their products. It's called Anhydra, which means without water. They're a waterless, preservative-free, clean, vegan skincare company. They use a dairy-free probiotic. The whole concept about this brand is just incredible. Just having waterless skincare. If you were to order the whole set of skincare, this is how it would ship. So they're trying to be an eco-friendly brand by having their products without water because you can imagine that most things are like at least 80% water. So you're getting all this excess packaging just for bigger looking product because a lot of people are like bigger is better. But this is the size of your cleanser. This is the number one microbiome cleanser. And you can also use this to create 
face masks and stuff. It's just so cool. So you have the whole product in here, just the powder. You put a dime size amount in your hand, then you add your water. You're not getting excess packaging. They're going to be also coming out with a eco-friendly refillable packaging. So you can purchase that after if you continue to use it and just fill up your own bottles. So you're not continuing to purchase the bottles as well. They've just honestly thought of everything for this brand and I find it very effective and gentle on my skin. I have sensitive skin. They've only come out with a few products so far, but I'm really excited to see what future things they do come out with. So I've really been enjoying their cleanser. You have about three months worth of product. If you use this twice a day, 180 uses. They also have their hyaluronic hydrator, which you shake this up five drops in your hand with a little bit of water, press it into the skin. And then they also have this, which is amazing. It is a vitamin C. They have the 80% vitamin C and 2% light diffusing luminol. 80% is unheard of in the skincare business. Like you're not gonna find that but in here. And even though this is a frosted packaging, this has a up to one year shelf life as long as you're not putting this in the direct sun, like this is going to last you because vitamin C can go off and they have tested this to have a one year shelf life. So that is amazing for vitamin C in here. Also, you just put a dime size in your hand, add a little bit of water, press that into your skin. This gives the most beautiful glow to my skin. The luminol in there is just so incredibly beautiful. Like, I instantly look so much better after this. So this is what I have been using and I just love the whole concept behind Anhydra and this company and I was just so excited because normally for skincare, I'm gonna be quite honest, nothing really grabs my attention because I have sensitive skin and it's just nothing new to me. This, I love the concept behind. So this I'm all for. I cannot wait to see what the brand comes out with next. I'd love to see some SPF they do because that's something I obviously have to add to my little skincare routine. And then they also sent this over some stuff to create little face mask. So you can use that microbiome cleanser. It's multi-use. You can even wear that overnight as a night mask and you can mix it into various things like agave, matcha, avocado oil, activated charcoal. They have some coffee and they just give you ways to create your own little skincare recipes, which I love because you can just use your products and whatever ingredients you have around the house and they just help you do it yourself, which in a time like this, a pandemic, like I honestly want to do everything myself. So I just, I just love everything about the brand, if you can't see. So I'm going to link them down below. You can only get them from the Anhydra website. They're made in Canada and they ship, I believe worldwide. So if you're interested, definitely check them out. I have absolutely been loving them. Then from Good Molecules, we have a new product and I love a lot of their products, again, because I like that they put not a ton of ingredients in them. This is one of those things that I probably will be passing on myself, but it's still nice to check out for other people who might be interested. So this is their Discoloration Correcting Serum and it's just formulated to target discoloration and promote an even skin tone. I love their niacinamide. I also love their cleansing balm, I think is amazing. They have some really affordable products. Their rosehip seed oil, big fan of. I am just really love Good Molecules as well. So if you want a really affordable skincare company to check out, they're available on Beautylish. And then I got a little paint can here. This is from VDL and the color of the year 2020 is classic blue, which now I'm gonna be put off of 2020. I'm just kidding, that's a really pretty blue. We have a few things in here. One I love, this is part of their permanent collection. I believe it's just a limited edition packaging with the blue lid, but this is their Lumi Layer Primer. I've talked about this in a favorites. I love this. It gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. That hand has glitter on. Let's try this hand. So you don't see glitter because there's no glitter in this. It just gives you a beautiful lit from within glow. It's so stunning. So that underneath any kind of foundation for me is a big hit. It helps my makeup wear beautifully. And I just love it as a first step to my makeup routine. And then they also sent a multicolor auto pencil liner in that blue shade. Like how stunning is that blue? And then also a palette, which I just put all the primer on. 
This is what the palette looks like inside. I have yet to touch this, but as I said, I really enjoy the primer. I know they've come out with a bunch of different primers as well. I feel like that might be what they're known for. I haven't heard too much of the brand, but as I said, I'm really enjoying that primer. The last thing we have here is from Benefit. And they sent over their brow microfilling pen. They had four shades. I have dark brown currently in my top drawer because I've been using that. It's supposed to give a 24 hour micro bladed effect. I would say it's not as good as my brow blade for sure, because that for 100%, like I'm using that today, it gives me a micro bladed effect, my brow blade, because I can create individual hairs. That's the only downside about this because it has a fork on it. This is what the brow pen looks like. And you can see it has a fork tip to it. I use this in a testing new makeup and it's probably the quickest I've ever done my brows. It's really great for quick brow days. I'm definitely gonna get used out of it. Is it my favorite ever? No, still like my brow blade more. Is it bad? No, it's kind of just, you know, there for quicker brow days, I guess. I've seen a bunch of people use it. I love how their brows look. It's just things that work better for me. So it's nothing bad. I think a lot of people are gonna like it. Just not my favorite and it's not bad. <laughs> Here. There's one thing in that benefit package that I just noticed now from the brand Olive and June. It is their super glossy top coat and CCT. So is that the name? Beautiful, just pale pink shade, kind of like what I'm wearing on my nails right now. This would be a really nice nail color, toe color. Like I'm all about these kind of colors. I use gel on my nails though, but I would use this on my toes. So I have to test it out. Actually need to give myself a little pedicure very soon. So I'm gonna put that aside for that and let you guys know how that works for me. But I just like white or light pinks like this for my toes. So we will try you out. That is everything for my September new and beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any of these products that you want to see further or in another new makeup tested that I plan to do monthly, let me know because I can set it aside for those videos. But my next video will probably be another haul actually. <laughs> I was gonna do a Sephora haul, which I don't like to typically do but I'm getting all my rare beauty stuff and I wanted to show you guys and then do a whole video on that. So that is what the future looks like coming up. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed playing around with all new makeup in this video. We're gonna be doing the same thing in my next video, but with stuff from Sephora that I purchased. And I'm excited for that too. Hauls are my favorite to film. I just love playing with all the new makeup. And there's some really great stuff here and some kind of misses as well. So hopefully this helps you out in purchasing in the future. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please do so by hitting the red button, the bell, if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.